Hey guys, I am Tosh Boy, and today we are watching Riverdale. This is season one, episode six. I didn't look what the title of this episode was called because I'm a dum dum. Um, just to let you guys know, I didn't close those curtains correctly, and now we're getting a lot of sunlight through. But also, to let you know, um, no, no, what, what am I doing? I don't know. I think she's closing the curtains. I have no idea. It's too early to even think right now. Um, but also, what I was going to say was, um. I will be making notes so that we can talk a little bit more about it then, because I don't talk enough at the end, and I like to talk, so, obviously, I like my own voice. So, um, I'm just going to be making some notes, so if you see them on my phone, that's all I'm doing, I'm just writing down a few notes, um, regarding the episode, just as, like, little plot points we can talk about at the end. Um, this is Riverdale, I hope you're ready. I hope I'm ready, I'm more fucking ready, this show's crazy and I love it, but it's also like, what the fuck? Can I handle the truth? I can't handle the truth. This... Is Riverdale. Let's go. Once, yep. <laughs> I wasn't sure if my notes had finished or deleting from Pretty Little Lies last night, and they have. So now I can do this. Okay, let's go. It's fucking insane. I love this so much. Ah! I just love Betty's mom so fucking much. Because I'll show you. No, no. I'll show him. Follow me. Oh fuck, boy! You better run. Head. Just run, boy, run. Oh. Oh, distraction techniques, do we think? Oh, I don't care about them, Archie. Oh, Take no. Hang on, this is no, making me. Archie, come on, bro. Oh my god, what's happening? He's freezing. He's choking. Yeah. Look at how happy she is. Clock's ticking. All right. Excuse me, sorry, I gotta go. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Oh, girl, you're gonna have to fix that one, Josie. Fix that one real quick. How's the uh, first day going? Especially as um, Mark is already. Oh, fuck. It's your books, Fred. <laughs> you only have enough in the bank to cover three more weeks of payroll. I just don't want to die. Oh, we go. I'm not sure you want to be here for now. Oopsie daisy! <laughs> that's gonna, that's gonna come back and haunt someone soon. I feel like. Oh no. Um. Hey, I just want to let you know I uh, bought tickets for all the guys at work to come see in the variety show. Oh, yeah, that's Hermione, not at all. We're going to go together with each other. I, I don't really know how to say this. And I don't want to make too big... On the pussycat side. Oh, fuck, you two are going to be so screwed. Are we going to the nuns' place? I'm excited. Sisters okay. at the quiet mercy. They are nuns! Judge a home for troubled use by its facade. Right. Oh, Betty. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Cooper. I'm here to see my sister Polly. May I see some identification? Sign in here, please. You'll have to wait. Polly. Is Preggers. Polly, here with Jason. Please be happy for me, Betty. I am Polly. Oh, I'm just. I'm so sorry. I didn't come sooner. I should have. But Mom and Dad, they no. stopped. What did they tell you? That I was on drugs, alcohol. Me, young lady. Now. No, Betty! I'm gonna get you out of here, I swear to God. I love you. No! Jeez. Jeez. Can I kick 
kicked. Oh, oh fuck. This you is a professional jazz man? You must be living your dream, right? Well, yes. What do you think I did? Did you kill Jason? Oh, Blossom? fuck, Benny, that's a bit harsh. Accusing your own father? Is Fetty. She is. Okay, she is depressed and delusional. But did you actually believe the story she told you? I just want to put that out there. About running off to Never Neverland and deny. raising a family. Hey, Juliet. Oh, you were wrong, Daddy. You haven't gone full yellow wallpaper on me yet, have you? They're crazy. Yeah. My parents are crazy. Their parents, they're all crazy. That's no, true. What if, what if Polly is too? I mean, the way. She... What? The car. Wow. That's what you're thinking about in the middle of our moment? No. <laughs> my whiskers. Yeah. I like how you the guys are all doing like a, a singing competition and Betty and Jughead are finding drugs in a car of a crime company? scene. I've never seen. More than anything. But I think you can do this alone, actually. No, I believe in this on my own, bro. He's growing on me a little bit. Um, admit, yes. If you freeze out there, Red Troubadour, just focus on someone that makes you feel safe. Come on. Oh god, are you two gonna like make out? Oh my god, they're gonna kiss. They're gonna kiss, because uh, she literally. Oh, Veronica's gonna see it. V's gonna see it. She's gonna be happy. She's gone. Polly. She was out there, alone. Oh, did bereft, she burn the car? Unmoored. Where was she going? And what? What she do next? Motherfucker! Polly got out. Holy shit, guys! It got cool. It got really scary and cool. Ah, oh, damn! Damn, 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 damn! That was. That was ace. That was so good, but also so fucking dark as well. Like, what the fuck? Um, awesome. What the fuck, guys? What even? I don't even know. That was. That was incredible. That was ace. Um, first we had Betty's batshit mom, who we love when she was with Jughead. It was like, oh, but you better get out of there. But really, it was a deep, a decoy, a decoy to find where Polly was staying. Um, then we had all the Archie auditioning stuff, and you know he froze, and and that was kind of sad because you know what? I think that yes, he drives me insane sometimes, but sometimes he doesn't, and you know it was just yeah. I don't know. It was just very weird for me to feel a little bit sad for Archie Andrews, but I did, which I have to admit I did. Um, although, may I just say, Ginger Judas is now my favourite fucking nickname for Archie ever. That was amazing. Polly's a nun. She went to nun school. Um, why are nuns so mean? I don't understand. Why are they so mean? They're always really mean nuns. Why can't they be nice nuns? Um, then V was going to sing with Archie, but then Archie ditched her for other V, and then that V went to work with the Pussycat Dolls while V worked with Archie. And then, they, at the end, they all came back together, the Vs went to the correct places, and then V kissed Archie, but not the V you're thinking of, the other V. So it was very <laughs> confusing. Um, or, Ginger Judas kissed her anyway. Um, but V's mum and dad, other V, Veronica's mum and dad, and Mel, no, sorry, Veronica's mum and Archie's dad kissed, which was like, oh no! Um, so yeah, um, the mayor, uh, mayor is a bit of a hard ass, I thought originally, but really she just doesn't want her daughter to let her dad down, but I can understand why that might seem like that, and bless her, she was so upset at the end when he walked out, that's just, I don't know, I'm, I'm, yeah. 
Um, Polly's pregnant, that was something we didn't know, um, with Jason, but it looked like they are on definitely some kind of narcotics or some kind of drugs or something. Um, so what was that all about? Were they on, were they on drugs? You know, that wouldn't have been good for the baby. But now Polly's obviously escaped. She didn't know about Jason until she did. Um, and she had a, like a little bit of a mental breakdown. Um, which we, I think we saw a little bit more of a crazy side of Polly. Uh, not sure where it's going to go from here. But I can only see them blaming Betty for what's happened. Um, then we had another awkward dinner party with the mayor. Her husband who's a bit of a dick to be honest. Um, but the mayor's a badass. And she totally ripped him to shreds on several occasions. Which I absolutely love. Um... Yeah, God, he's he's a right asshole, to be honest. Um, but Fred got the contract in the end, even, you know, uh, despite Veronica's attempts to sort of dislodge that dislodge. Because <laughs> she's a lodge. <laughs> I'm funny. Um, but Fred got the contract, and um, I actually grew on me slightly for Ginger Judas. Especially at the end with singing, I think I prefer singing Archie to football, um, kiss all the girls, make out with everyone Archie. But he's a teenager and he's growing up, I suppose. <gasps> Betty Jughead! Holy shit, guys! Holy fucking shit, they kissed! And it was everything I ever wanted in my entire life. Ah, <laughs> uh, you do not understand, it was so good. It was so fucking good, guys. It was so good. Um, they kissed and it was all sweet and nice and yay. Um... And it was a good song uh, that I feel like the Pussycats did. Um, Josie's dad's a dick, and I just wrote Polly at them because she's escaped. She is out there in the big wide world, and what she's going to do next, well, that is anyone's guess, I suppose. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. I have been Torture Boy, you've been awesome, and this has been Riverdale. If you'd like this video, please subscribe, and if you don't, goodbye. <laughs>